Hey there Dev Squad, today we're going to be showing you how you can paint your landscapes in Unreal Engine. Hey my name is Luke and in today's episode we're going to be breaking down the process of setting up a landscape material inside of Unreal Engine, followed by how you can actually paint this onto your landscape inside of the editor and all of the different brush tools available to us. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the video. Okay, so now that we're inside of the engine, let's go ahead and take a look at how we can put a material onto this landscape and start painting it. Now, one thing I do want to mention before we can do any of the painting for this landscape, we need to have a material set up that is going to have our different layers. Those layers being all of the different textures for each of the different surface types, like rock, grass, mud, and so on. So let's go ahead and do that. Now one other thing I'd like to mention is I've already got a landscape here that I made by myself. If you want to learn how to sculpt your own landscapes, make sure you check out my last video where I covered just that. So let's go ahead and create a landscape material. For now, what I'm going to do is go into my content browser and I'm going to right click and create a material. You can do this anywhere you like and you can also give this any name that you like. So I'm going to give this the name landscape material, just like that. And once we've done, what we've got to do is go into here, double click to open this up and then we are going to start setting this up. Now, by default, with a material, you can only put one texture into the base color, the metallic, the specular, or any of these other nodes. So what we need to do is use a special function called layer blend, which is going to actually allow us to put in different textures and layer them and then paint on those different layers. So the node that you're looking for is landscape layer blend. So if you right click, type in landscape layer blend, we are going to put this into here. And with our output, this little pin here, we are going to put that into our base color. And this is going to give us the color for our landscape. Now what we need to do is set up a couple of different layers for this landscape. So what we're going to be doing is going over to the details panel in the bottom left. We are going to add three elements to this by pressing the plus icon. And then if we expand each one of these, we can set the properties for this. So the first one, we are going to be giving the name grass. The second one, we are going to be giving the name rock. And then the third one, we are going to be giving the name mud. And as you can see, as I type these values into here in the details panel, we have now got those three different elements with the names that I've just given it there. So essentially what we can do now in this landscape material is go in and plug in three different textures. And I'm going to show you how to do that in just a moment. Now one other thing we want to do is set our preview weight for each of these to 0.5 and then we are good to go. So in terms of actually bringing in a texture, you can do this in a couple of different ways. So let's start off by showing you how we can bring in our grass texture. You can either right click and look for a texture sample. So if you type in texture sample, and then if you bring one of those in here, what we can then do is click this, and from the drop down, we can then choose a texture from here. Now, an easier way of getting a texture sample into here is holding down T and then pressing left click. And what this is going to do is simply bringing that texture sample. So what we can do is with our texture in here, we can actually manually search for a grass. And as you can see here, if I type in grass in the browse, we have found ground underscore grass. And we are going to be using this. And we're going to put our RGB output into a layer grass, just like that. So if we go ahead and press apply, we have got our very first texture in here. What we now need to do is bring in our rock and our mud. So we're going to hold down T and left click two more times, and then we're going to be setting up our rock texture and our mud texture so that we can start painting. So with this texture sample for our rock, what we're going to do is go into our content browser we are going to search for rock and what we're looking for is a texture and we're going to take this one here t underscore rock underscore slate and with this 
With this selected in our content browser, we are then going to press this arrow in the details panel for the texture sample to use that asset. And then again, we can put that straight into our rock. And we can do the same thing in our content browser. We can also search for mud or dirt in this case. And if you can't find anything, you just got to keep using different names. The one I'm going to use is gravel. So we're going to use this in our texture sample and put this into our mud just like that. So what we have now is essentially our very basic landscape material. So let's go ahead and show you how you can put this onto our landscape so that we can start painting. So close this landscape material, select your landscape in your level, and then in the details panel, you want to look for your landscape material. You then want to select the material that you've just created, give it a second to pop up, once it's compiled the shaders, you are going to have a landscape that looks a little bit something like this. Now, the reason why it's black is because we haven't set up our layers properly. So let's go ahead and move over to our landscape editing mode by going to modes and then landscape. And then if we go over to our paint tab at the top here, what we need to do is for our grass, we are going to create a weight blended layer, press OK. We are then going to do the same thing for the rock. And we're also going to do the same thing for our mud. And what we can now do is take each of these and we can start painting them on. So let's say I want to have my rock over on my mountains that I've sculpted here. All I have to do is just hold down left click to start painting just like that. And then what I can also do is hold down shift and left click to erase that as well. But for now, what I'm going to do is simply just go ahead and put my rock texture onto this little mountain that I've created. And with that, you can see that our level is really starting to come to life. Now, in terms of the, the basics of landscape sculpting, it's really, really straightforward. There's only a couple of tools for landscape painting, those being paint, smooth, flatten and noise and these are very similar to the sculpt tools so with our paint tool we have just shown you how to do that this is going to paint weight data and like i said if you left click it is going to paint if you hold down shift and left click it is going to erase our smooth is going to blend between the layers so you can see here i've currently got my layer for our grass and our layer for our rock if i hold down left click it is going to smooth between the two just like that. Moving on, you've also got your flatten. So this is going to take the point where you first left click. And then if you click and drag, it is going to flatten it. So you have got that layer everywhere where that brush goes. Lastly, you've got your noise tool, which is just going to add a little bit of noise in between. But realistically, you're not really going to be using this. So some of the other settings that you've got here for your painting is your tool strength. Just like the brush for sculpting, you can turn this up and down to change how strong the tool is going to be. And then your radius, you've got that as well. This is your brush size. Turn it up and down to increase the size of your brush. And then if you want a smooth finish, then you can look at making your fall off bigger or smaller. So the bigger the the bigger the fall off, the smoother it's going to be. The smaller the fall off, the harsher it is going to be. So if we go ahead and paint on there now, you can see there is very little smoothing. If we turn this down, there is going to be a bit more smoothing as you can see there. So that is pretty much everything that you need to know here. There is one other thing that I want to show you before we end this tutorial, and that is how to change the scale of your textures on your landscape. Because at the moment, if we take a look at this, our grass is being repeated quite a lot. So there is one function that I want to show you within your landscape material that you can use to stretch out your textures. So if you go to landscape material, double click on this to open it up. What you can do is use the landscape layer coordinates node. 
with this landscape layer coordinates node, we can change the scale option here to actually change how big or how stretched your textures are going to be. So like I said, it's very repeated over here. What I can do is change my mapping scale up to something like 10, hit apply, and then what this is going to do is take this texture that we've got, the grass in this instance, and then it's going to stretch it so we have a more realistic result as you can see here. And you can play around with this as much as you like to get the look that you want. And with this landscape coordinates, we can also put this into the UVs for the texture sample for all of our different textures if that is something that you want to do. Now we've also got a couple of other settings that we can play around with within this, such as your rotation, which is going to allow you to rotate your texture. So you can just change that value press apply and it is going to rotate that texture within your landscape. Now this is going to be something very hard to do but that is essentially what it is going to do. You've also got your panning options, your U and your V. So what this is going to allow you to do is simply just pan the texture across your UVs. Now this isn't something that you're necessarily going to be doing often but it's nice to know that you've got the option to do just that. So that is pretty much all of the main things that you need to know about your landscape material. What you can also do is set up layer blend nodes for some of your other options to really home in on your material, such as your metallic, your roughness, your normal map, and so on, to get some of the effects such as shine or height and all of that good stuff. But check out some of the later tutorials in this course to learn how the metallic, specular, roughness, and all of those other options work inside of Unreal. One last thing that I do want to mention is that if you are sculpting and painting your landscape and it looks a little bit like this, where you have got the black grid lines going all across it, that is simply because your lighting needs to be rebuilt. And you can see this in the top left hand corner. So what we're going to do is go ahead and go to build. We are going to build our lighting only, but we are going to press this after we've chosen a mode. If you are going to be sending this level out, you want to be putting it up to production. But for now, preview is going to be fine we are going to go ahead and press build lighting only we're going to give this a couple of seconds you can see it all happening in the bottom right hand corner but once this is done you are going to see that your lines across our landscape here are going to disappear so three two one and they're gone just like that and our landscape is looking fresh that's it for this video, by now you should have a solid understanding of how you can both create a landscape material and all of the different settings within the material editor, along with how you can actually paint it onto your landscape. I'm really looking forward to seeing some of the different landscapes that you guys, the community, are going to create. Don't forget to check out our Patreon, but as always guys, stay awesome, keep creating, Virtus, signing out.